hey there what's up sandra here again with another tutorial today we're going to be talking all about the trello mobile app today i'm going to be using it on the android phone but i'm sure that it will work similar if you're using this app on an iphone i love using trello in conjunction with evernote because there are some projects and some things that are easier to keep track of on trello it's a lot more visual and the drag and drop feature makes it easier to keep track of and keep projects organized. Right now I am logged into my Trello account and as you see here, these are my boards. Trello works in boards as opposed to notebooks, but we'll get into that here shortly. And I use it to keep track of many things like books I'd like to read, business things I have to do, big and small projects as you can see here my personal to do things and also video ideas for YouTube channels and lots of other things. For now, I want to get started and show you a quick tutorial. And along the way, I will be sharing tips and hacks on how to use this Trello app on your phone more effectively. So you can get to it quicker and you can add the things you need to add to different lists a lot quicker as well. When you start your account, obviously you're not going to have any boards there. Your first step is going to be to start adding the boards you need. To do that, you're going to tap this plus button with this green circle on the bottom right. Then you can add your board there. Go ahead and tap on board. Next, you're going to name your board. For this example, I'm going to name it weekly plan. Below the name, you can change the visibility. Normally it starts off on private, but you can put it public and that's useful if you're collaborating with others or if you really want to share your board say with your followers or if you have a course and you want to share this board with other people there's many reasons why you'd want it public but there's where you get to decide and then tap on create when you're done and this is our board right now it's blank it may look a little bit intimidating you may be thinking if you're new to trello how is this even useful but once we start adding stuff you will see the many benefits of using trello to track projects so look at a board kind of like a notebook or a file that this is like the file folder and inside we're gonna add pages right here where it says add list that will be like your page since we're doing a weekly plan I'm going to go ahead and add every day of the week so just tap where it says add list put in the name of the list and click the check mark on the top right hand corner and it will automatically give you a space to add your next list and you can add as many lists as you need and you can just swipe to the right or to the left to get to your different lists. And this also works in landscape and portrait mode. But right now I'm going to keep it like this for the sake of this video because it will be easier to follow along. The next step is to start adding cards. And cards will be like the actual content of each page. So the whole board is a notebook. The list is the page and then the cards are the actual content that will go on each page. So right here for Monday, I'm going to add a to-do list. So I added five things and these are just made up to-dos. Now you can swipe over and tap on add card on Tuesday and then you'll be prompted to name your card. When you're done, click the check mark and it'll automatically keep prompting you to add more cards. If you wanna add a card to Wednesday, just swipe tap on add card and do that and you can add endless cards to your list as well as I said before one of my favorite things about Trello it's that it's highly visual just swipe to see the different information you have on each board and I also like that you can drag and drop your list and cards so say for example that I change my mind I don't want to write a blog post or I can't write a blog post on Monday I just tap and hold the card and drag it over to Tuesday. You can move your list around too. Just tap and hold and drag it over, or you can tap and hold and drag it to the archive. Everything on Trello is archived. Nothing is completely deleted ever, which is great because if you accidentally delete something, you can always go back and recover it. The drag and drop feature makes it so easy to keep your things organized and rearrange things as your projects and lists 
grow. That's the three elements of Trello. As you can see, once you know, it's so simple. The boards, the cards, the list, that's the essence of it. But there's a whole lot more to Trello. You can keep it super simple and stop here, or you can add more things and customize more things if you want. Each board, each list, and each card have a menu where you can edit and customize different settings so that it can do neat things for you. Now I'm going to go over each of those menus. So for a board menu, you click the top three buttons on the right hand side, and here's all your options for boards. The very first one, the I symbol, is just where it tells you about the board, who made it, and here you can also add a description if you'd like. Most of my boards are for myself, but if you're collaborating with someone, descriptions would be useful. Next, we have members. Again, if you're collaborating with someone, here's where you can add someone. Then we have activity. Here will show you the history of this board, things that have been deleted or added and by whom. Power-ups are like add-ons to your Trello board. Here you can add your calendar, you can connect your Gmail, and here I guess are the only ones that are available for the mobile app. But of course on the web version, there's a lot more to do. You can sync it with different apps like with Evernote, with Slack, Google Drive, so many things you can connect Trello with. And I will leave a video link down below where I share some of my favorite power-ups and how to use them. Next, we have our archive cards and archive lists. And here's where you will go if you want to recover something you deleted. Then we have board settings. Here you can rename your board if you'd like. You can edit your labels. I will show you how to add labels to cards later but here's where you can name your label. So if I want it green to signify that a task is done, just tap on the green label, tap on label name, and I'm going to type in done and click done here. Let's say that we want it red to mean urgent. Tap on red, type your label name, click done. And you can also create new labels with new colors if you'd like. Below that, we have the background. Right now, it's the normal blue background, but you can change it to a different color if you'd like. And you can also change it to a photo background. This is about planning. So I'm going to search for a planning image, and let's just say I want it this one. And now if I go back to my board, it added that as my background. And this is super useful because this will also be your cover photo on your home screen. So here's my home screen. And as you can see, each of my boards have a cover photo, and this just makes it easier to distinguish your boards. Now I'm back where we were on board settings. Going down the list, here you can also change the visibility again of your board. You can change the comments. And at the very, very bottom, that's where you will close this board archive it essentially because as i said you can't delete anything on trello so if you ever wanted to get rid of a board this is where you'd go on close board going back to the original settings below board settings you can start a board which essentially means to pin it to the top of your boards list if it's a board that you use often that's super useful and you can also pin it to your home screen so if i tap on pin to home screen you click add and if I go to my home screen, here's my weekly plan. And it's easier to get to instead of logging into Trello and looking for that board. If you want to get to something faster, just pin it to your home screen. Below that, we have watch. And this is more useful if you're collaborating with somebody and you want to be notified when there's an edit to a board or a card, you just tap on watch so that it notifies you every time something is done to it. You can also, below that, copy a board. If you want to make a duplicate at any time of a board, you can always do that there. And here, you can also grab a link to share it. So just click Share Link, click Copy. Now it's copied and you can paste it anywhere. And those are the board settings. Next, let's go into the list settings so if i tap here on the top three buttons at the top of each list that's where you will find your list settings if i tap on move it'll give me the option to choose a different board to move this list to i'm going to click cancel because we don't want to do that below you can also copy this list you can archive this list you can move all of these cards to a different board just tap on the board you want to move these cards to and tap on the list 
that you want to move this card to and just tap move and it'll move it for you you can also archive all the cards you can sort your cards by due date or when they were created and just like boards you can also watch lists so here's where you would tap to watch a list and those are your lists menu options next to get to the card menu options just tap on a card and here are the card menu settings this is also known as a card back and here are some of the things you can do if you tap on the name you can edit it you can add a description below that you can add a label so if recording a video was urgent just tap on add label and tap on urgent tap on the check mark and if i go back to my board you can see that it has the little red label on top and each card can have more than one label below labels we have members again if you're collaborating with others you can also add a due date to each card. Just set the day that you want to have your reminder and click done. Another neat thing that you can add to each card is a checklist. Just tap here on checklist. You can leave it named as checklist or you can change it to something else. I'm gonna type in video. So here are the things that I need to do to make a video. I need to write the script, I need to record it, edit it, and I need to write a description and tap done after each item and when you get done with the task you just tap on it it'll cross it out for you put a green check mark by it but it will also give you a progress bar at the top to show you how close you are to getting done with each task and if i tap checklist again you can add a different checklist so you can have multiple checklists per card but below that we also have activity and here's where you can see the history of each card and then you can also add a comment to a card so if you're working with somebody on a project that would be super useful and as you can see some of these options have three little dots off to the right if you tap on those there's other things you can do with each one for the activity you can show the details or you can hide them so if I tap on show details it will automatically show the activity but if I don't want it to automatically show just uncheck that for the checklist I can hide the completed items or not and I can delete a checklist by tapping those three dots as well At the very top there's three more dots and here's where you can share a card link just like a board or a list you can always share individual cards here's where you can watch a card move it or copy it archive it or delete it all together i don't know if i've shown you this before but also you can tap and hold a card and drag it to this green area at the top and archive it that way as well so that is how you use trello now here we are on the home screen and let me just show you a little bit around my boards just so you can get some ideas on how to use it but i will also leave a trello article down below where it gives you some more ideas on how to use trello so my very first board at the top here is books to read i have them um, divided into different categories copywriting business health parenting so whatever kind of book i'm looking for at the moment i can just come to this list and see what catches my eye these are books that i've heard being recommended on different podcasts or by different people stmb video ideas are video ideas that i have recorded for this channel and this also needs to be updated there's some that i've already created but i also have them categorized into different categories so here at the top you can see tutorials business productivity motivational book reviews health finances about youtube about writing about goals here on my need to do list this is a more personal one here i have things i need organized by different categories so i have groceries paper and cleaning products makeup stuff toiletries other than we have clothes and furniture and i like to keep them categorized like this because it's easier to get to if I'm shopping online or at a clothing store, I can easily see what I need at the house. As I see that I'm running out of something or need something, I'll just come and add it here. That way, when I'm at the store, I know exactly what I need. Now, I don't think I showed you earlier how to add pictures to cards. So let's go ahead and add a picture to this card. I'm going to tap. And then one of the options here is attachments. And you can take a photo 
or add a photo that you already have. So I added this photo of some boots that doesn't even go with this card, but just to show you. So those are some of the ways that I use Trello. The last thing I want to show you is how to add a Trello widget to your home screen. And this would just make it easier to add things and information to your Trello boards. So for Android phones, all you have to do is tap and hold your home screen. And then below you'll see it says widgets. And here's all the different widgets you can add for the apps that you have on your phone. Search for the one that says Trello and tap on it. And here are your different options. The first one is to add a card. The one right next to it is to get notifications about Trello cards you're assigned to, which again works better for when you're collaborating or working as a team on a Trello board. And then the last one is again to quickly add a Trello card, but it's just a bigger version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the first one, tap and hold, and it will add it to your home screen. And then you tap on it again, and here you can choose the board you want. So I'm going to go to need and groceries and this just makes it easier. So anytime I find that I'm running low on something here at the house or anytime I see that I need something, it just make it easier to go here and add it instead of opening up the whole Trello app and searching for the board I want, locating the list and adding the cart. And that's how you use Trello. I really do hope you found this video helpful. It's going to take some trial and error to settle on a Trello system for yourself. So give yourself some time to play around with the app to see how you want to organize your different projects and checklists and ideas and things like that. Do let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, let me know that in the comments too. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.